Anthony Siciliano with the Night Report, and today we are going to be talking about Greg Schiano's offensive breakdowns during his time at Rutgers and in the NFL with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Since week four, when Rutgers fired head coach Chris Ash, the program is back to starting from ground zero once again. Although, Rutgers has a possibility to turn the clock back and go with a coach that led the Scarlet Knights to six bowl games and a 5-1 and one bowl record during his tenure as the head coach for Rutgers. All signs are turning to Greg Schiano to return as the head coach for Rutgers. Schiano has six seasons in which he led the Scarlet Knights to an above 500 overall record. I'm going to take a look at two offensive plays that Schiano ran from a scheme standpoint during his time at Rutgers and with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Number 15th ranked Rutgers was trailing at home versus number three ranked Louisville, and the offense was looking to answer late in the first quarter, facing a third and nine. The Scarlet Knights offense comes out in a 21 personnel grouping, two running backs, one tight end, and two wide receivers, while Louisville comes out in a 3-4 defense, three defensive linemen and four linebackers with a cover three look in the secondary. Rutgers has the X receiver lined up alone to the boundary with the Y, the tight end, and Z receiver lined up in a bunch set to the field. Quarterback Mike Teal motions in the fullback from left to right to be lined up offset in the backfield. The Scarlet Knights dial up a play-action pass versus the Cardinals' defense. The Z receiver on the boundary side of the field will run a drag route right in front of the linebackers, while the Y will run a post route attacking the middle of the field to hold the safety. The fullback will run a flat route from the backfield, while the X receiver will run a deep out route. Teal understands that he has a one-on-one matchup and throws a strike to Tyquan Underwood for the first down. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers was facing a third and 15, backed up in their own territory to start the second quarter, and the offense came out in an 11 personnel grouping, one running back, one tight end, and three wide receivers, versus the Oakland Raiders 4-2-5 defense. Four defensive linemen, two linebackers, and five defensive backs with a cover four look from the secondary and the middle of the field open. The Buccaneers had a double set and the Y, the tight end, lined up offset of the left tackle to the back side of the field with the single receiver lined up on the front side, a three-by-one set. Pre-snap, the Raiders' defensive backs are playing at about five to six yards depth, then retreat back to 10 yards right before the football is snapped. The Oakland defense is now in a cover four defense. In cover four, the defensive backs and two high safeties now have a deep fourth of the field to cover with the outside linebackers now covering the flats. Quarterback Josh Freeman changes the play at the line of scrimmage because he identifies that the defense has changed their coverage pre-snap read. Freeman looks off the back side of the field and comes back to his front side to relocate his eyes to find wide receiver Vincent Jackson on a deep sluggo route for a 65-yard gain. When looking at what Rutgers should be from an offensive scheme in the future, they need to find a scheme that will help them establish themselves from an identity standpoint. The number one thing as an offense is ask yourself, who are we? What will we do to challenge the defense play in and play out? As an offense, you want to be a threat to the opposing defense and have them on their heels every play. The Scarlet Knights have a nice group of young offensive players on their current roster that can make consistent plays, but they have to be put in the right positions to be successful. Rutgers should look for an offensive scheme that allows them to have a quick tempo, but also control the game. Take your shots down the field in the passing game, but have manageable down and distances to work with. Find ways to get your playmakers in different positions all over the field. This will then cause mismatches against the opposing defense. The future is bright for Rutgers. They need to continue to build and find talent, and soon they will have the right coaching staff that could put these players in the right spot.